Hello YouTube and welcome back to JDT Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Smart Mic Plus and the Audio Wow from Sabine Tech. These two Bluetooth microphones pack a ton of technology into a very tiny package and after some setup and a little bit of troubleshooting, I'm fairly confident that the quality and versatility is going to surprise and impress you. We're going to go over everything from hardware and specs to setup and features, software and app integration, pros and cons, and hopefully we can help you decide if either or both of these microphones is a good option for you and your setup. Let's get started. Now because there's so much technology and AI packed inside these small microphones themselves and their corresponding mobile applications, there isn't a whole lot to unbox about them. The packaging is very simple and provides easy access to everything in the box. Both mics come with pretty much the same accessories, charging cable, headphones for monitoring, dead cat and foam windshield, and a manual. The Smart Mic Plus weighs in at 14 grams and the Audio Wow weighs in at 15 grams and is comparable to your average domino piece. Comparing the two mics side by side, you can begin to see the subtle differences between them other than the obvious size discrepancy. Both mics have their charging and data ports on the bottom of them, but the Smart Mic Plus connects with micro USB and the Audio Wow connects through a more modern USB-C connection. The microphone grill on the Smart Mic Plus is located on the side of the microphone, and the Audio Wow's grill is located on the front face of the microphone. Lastly, the status indicator light on the Smart Mic Plus is located on the front face of the microphone, and the Audio Wow's is located on the top beside the 3.5mm headphone jack. Other than those small cosmetic differences, both mics each have a red combination power and mode button on the side and the collar clip on the back. Both mics feature Bluetooth 5.0 connectivity and have a battery life of about 5 hours each, which can be extended with the use of a battery bank. Both mics have a 3.5mm 4-pin TRRS port that can be used to connect headphones for monitoring, a directional microphone, or connect the mic to a camera or third-party app. More on the latter two options in a bit though. The accessories that come with both mics are good, but they certainly aren't the best. I found that the headphones for the real-time monitoring just weren't for me. I had a hard time getting used to them and found it difficult to be productive while using them. The foam windscreen and dead cats worked well, but I did find it hard to attach them to the microphones and they obviously make the mic more visible in my shots. They certainly have their place and are great when outside or in a windy environment, but I found them just too cumbersome to use while in front of a camera indoors. They also weren't necessary all of the time, given how quiet it is around here. Physically, both mics are made well with premium materials and are extremely portable. They feel strong enough to handle everyday use and feel like they could handle the occasional bump or drop and be no worse for wear. If you're using the Smart Mic Plus or Audio Wow on its own, the setup is very easy and straightforward. The first and most important thing to do is download the corresponding Sabine Tech app for whichever mic you're using, conveniently labeled Smart Mic Plus or Audio Wow. Imagine that. They're easy to find in whichever app store you find yourself in. Once you have the correct app downloaded, connecting your mic follows the exact same protocol as a Bluetooth device. Turn on your Bluetooth in your mobile device's settings and hold the button on the microphone for three seconds until the mic shows up in your Bluetooth menu. Select the mic and make sure it connects to your device. Then open up the Smart Mic Plus or Audio Wow app and you're ready to go. Connecting a second microphone can be done in one of two ways. It can be used as a second microphone for interviews, video calls, or other interactive applications. The process to connect the second mic follows the same protocol as the single microphone by going through the Bluetooth settings on your device. Both mics will be displayed in the app as separate connections. This is called TWS mode. You can also use your smartphone's built-in microphone as a third audio source for doing interviews with three or more people. The second option for using a second microphone is to be used when you want to use your Smart Mic Plus or Audio Wow with a third-party app or device. Sabine Tech calls this TR mode, or Transmitter and Receiver mode. You physically connect one microphone to your mobile device or camera with the TRRS or TRS adapter. This connected mic then becomes a wireless receiver for your microphone that you're wanting to use yourself. To set this up, you'll have to start by deciding which mic is the transmitter and which mic is the receiver. Let's label receiver as mic A and the transmitter as mic B. To start, hold the power button on mic A for 10 seconds until the indicator light blinks red and green. Then hold the power button on mic B for 3 seconds until it blinks blue to indicate that it's in pairing mode. The mics will pair automatically and the light on mic A, the receiver, will be solid green and mic B, the transmitter, 
will be blue. Then plug mic A into your camera or device with the TRS or TRRS adapter and you should be up and running and ready to go. If you have issues, you may need to repeat the process, but the installation for the transmitter and receiver mode is laid out in the instruction manual. It may take a couple of tries, but it works well once you get it up and running. The features that you'll be able to use with any setup that you're using will largely depend on whether or not you're using the mic with the Sabine Tech apps or not. If you're using the mics in transmitter and receiver mode, the features will be limited as you're not able to use this mode without the Sabine Tech apps. You will still get a basic high fidelity audio recording promised by Sabine Tech, but you won't be able to use the features like speech recognition, wireless mixing, gain adjustments, digital effects, or the use of the five band equalizer. By using the corresponding apps for each mic, you can unlock the true power of the AI that's been built into these microphones. You have access to a whole host of adjustments to help create the best possible content, real-time mixing of your recording and monitor feeds, subtitle transcription, speech recognition, subtitle generation, noise reduction, or the use of a teleprompter within the app itself. The Smart Mic Plus allows you to use your phone's built-in camera to record video and audio content simultaneously, making it perfect for vlogging, YouTube content, or interviews right from your phone. You can utilize your phone's camera just like you would in the native camera app, allowing you to customize your aspect ratio and resolution. The Audio Wow adds features that effectively turn it into a mobile audio studio. It adds the ability to adjust reverb, a five band equalizer, voice changer, and even the ability to strip vocals from music tracks. Both apps work very well and deliver the features as advertised. However, each microphone is definitely geared towards a specific type of user, despite being able to work together as a basic microphone. The Smart Mic Plus and its apps are very much made for vloggers and content creators looking to do everything all in one place. The Audio Wow, on the other hand, is geared towards musicians. Its main features of the Smart Mic Plus are there, but its app is specifically designed for creating audio and not video. It opens up more options for those musicians who want an easy go-to solution for creating music content. Great for musicians on the road to quickly plug in and play when inspiration strikes, or when they just want to try something new and quick without having to set up a ton of equipment. So, what does the Smart Mic Plus and Audio Wow have going for them that make them a great option? First, the amount of features and customization that you can access while using the microphones with the apps is really helpful. This is something that I've yet to see with other wireless microphones that I've tried, and it's really unique. You can get good sounding audio without having to use a ton of equipment to get it. You're also able to utilize your phone's native camera within the Sabine Tech Plus app to create good content and interviews. Second, the compact and lightweight design of these microphones is super helpful when recording. I don't like having a lav mic with a cable running down my shirt or down my back. I find it uncomfortable and in constant need of adjustment. It also requires a separate receiver attached to my computer or audio interface, which works, but it's not as easy as connecting the receiver directly to my phone or camera. The Smart Mic Plus really helps me forget that I'm wearing a microphone and helps me focus on the content more. Third, the Deadcat and optional unidirectional microphone, which plug into the 3.5 millimeter port on the Smart Mic Plus and Audio Wow, really help audio quality when in a noisy or windy environment. I was able to use both at the same time to act as a pseudo pop filter cardioid microphone. It did a great job of isolating my voice from the background and environmental noise. Combine that with the in-app noise reduction and you can really do a lot with it. Despite all the positives that are packed into these small Bluetooth microphones, there are still a few things that I have on my wish list that could either be improved on or added in future iterations by Sabine Tech. I wish that there was a way to utilize the AI and smart features that are confined to the Sabine Tech apps in other third-party apps at the same time. I understand that this may be more of an issue with the mobile device manufacturer allowing it or not, but I wonder if there's an option to sacrifice a slight bit of space and allow for more technology or memory within the mics themselves. That might allow for the settings from within the Sabine Tech apps to be altered and saved to each microphone for use with third-party devices or applications. In short, I don't want to rely on the constant use of the Sabine Tech apps in order to utilize their best and most useful features. There's also a very noticeable and satisfying click when using the power and mode button. This is typically a positive aspect, having a responsive and tactile response from your controls. However, because you can change the function of the red power button to be used for starting and stopping recordings or for switching cameras, it's fairly easy to pick up the clicks on microphone while recording. 
it creates a bit of extra work to try and hide these clicks once you're done in post. Not the biggest deal, but something to think about. Lastly, there's no way to see your battery level from the microphones on the mics themselves. Unfortunately, you have to use the Sabinetech apps in order to see the battery level remaining. Downside is that it's not always convenient to open up the Sabinetech app in order to check it, especially if you're using a third-party app or device. It would be great to have a battery indicator built right into the physical mic itself, or even a simple flash of the light when you have 50%, 20%, or 10% battery remaining. So how do I sum all this up? The Smart Mic Plus offers a ton of flexibility and features for almost any situation, and they especially hit the sweet spot for any new content creators or vloggers looking to improve their content. The ability to have a whole audio system in a smaller package than a matchbox is a huge win for anyone who needs a quick and easy solution that can go anywhere, just like the Audio Wow. Professionals likely won't find these mics as their go-to system, but they've likely spent plenty of time and money on their own setups that are highly customizable from the get-go. The integrations of technology and the stability of Bluetooth 5 really make the Smart Mic Plus and the Audio Wow excel. Sabine Tech has created an excellent ecosystem of products that balances quality with solid and easy to understand user experience through its mobile apps. There really isn't much to dislike about these microphones. They're portable, compact, wireless, versatile, and sound great for the money. It's truly great value. I was pleasantly surprised by what I got out of both of these microphones, and I'm sure I'll be using them again and making them a regular part of my mobile setup. Anyways, guys, that's my review and unboxing of both the Smart Mic Plus and Audio Wow from Sabine Tech. Thank you so much for checking it out. If you liked what you saw, please hit like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.